for Joe's RV Tech DIY. Um, I was going through some of my videos and I noticed that I still hadn't done the Thetford Aquamagic Style 2 RV toilet that we talked about doing. So we have one here, brand new in the box. Let's open it up. One of the things I think people like about me doing videos on these toilets is, is they're trying to figure out which one they need to buy. So we're gonna pull one out here. I'm gonna set it aside. And then we're gonna flip the box over. And use it as a stand. Alright. Here it is. Let me just double check if you guys got the whole thing in the picture. Yes, you do. Alright. Now to find your model number on your RV toilet, depending on which toilet you have. On this specific one, the model number is in the back of the toilet, here. So this is a foot flush, and <clears throat> it comes with the floor gasket that you need for the flange, and it has a porcelain base, and then a plastic piece that wraps around the rest of it. This is plastic, this is all porcelain. So. You could say it has a porcelain bowl. So here's the back of it. And as you can see, you hook the plumbing up directly in the center of the toilet on this one. And this is the question that everybody asks. I don't know which toilet I have. All I know is that my plumbing is in the center or it's off to the left or to the right, depending which toilet you have. On the Thetford Style 2 Aquamagic toilet, it is always gonna be in the center unless that changes in the future. So these toilets are a little bit heavier than say like a, a, a Dometic style model 310, but I'd say they're pretty close in weight. And back, you know, say five years ago, you used to get some chemical with it when you would order it. And now, you just get the warranty card instructions and the base of it is right here. That's where you would put your flange. So I like to put the flange on first, personally, and then mount my toilet, which a bolt goes through here and here. And then you would put your nut on the top here on each side, and then it comes with a little plastic cap that you can put on the top of it to make it look good. So one thing that happens with these toilets is, is the foot flush spring inside will get wore out and this will start to get stuck. And once this starts getting stuck on you, it's time to replace your toilet. It's not something that you can just repair with parts. You will end up ultimately having to replace the entire toilet. So what can happen is, if you keep continuing to use it while this is getting stuck uh, and you don't push it, put it back up with your foot, because that's what I see a lot of people, they, what they tell me they do. Well, it's been doing it for a while, but I just use my foot and I push it back up. Okay, well, if you push it too far and it gets stuck there, it's going to flood your entire RV. If you flush it and don't push it back up, it's going to flood your entire RV. And it's going to do a lot more damage than what it costs just to replace the actual toilet itself. So... You want to go ahead and replace the toilet if the foot flush is getting stuck. Another thing that happens is inside the bowl here, there is a gasket that goes around the ball. So when you flush these, it opens, it closes. But sometimes debris can get stuck in it and it'll, it'll leave a little opening and the bowl will not hold water anymore. But the main thing that happens when that's going on is the actual gasket itself around the ball has dried out or it just needs to be replaced. Now, a lot of people don't want to pay an RV technician to tear apart a toilet and replace the gasket inside the actual toilet. We have a video on our channel here that shows you how to do just that on an RV toilet. When it comes to labor re rebuilding these things with the parts and everything, you can get close to the cost of a toilet if you're working with the wrong technician. Now, some technicians just flat rate this job 
and they won't charge you that much to swap it out. But keep in mind, it is a messy job and it can be a little bit dirty. So you always wanna have gloves on anytime you're handling a toilet. Brand new one like this, I don't have to worry about it. But other things that go wrong on this toilet can be this valve in the back here. It can actually start leaking inside here. And most of the time when that happens is it, something has just come loose. One of the springs maybe wasn't pushed on enough, but it's rare to have a leak up here. The main leak happens down here by the flush, okay? And there's a part inside, if we took this leg foot flush cover off, and it's just a couple of screws that can be replaced. And it's a pretty easily done DIY job, but we still recommend hiring an RV technician to get this done. But ultimately, in my opinion, the easiest thing to do on any RV toilet would be to just replace it, especially if you're gonna do it yourself because it's only held in by two nuts. And you remove those nuts, turn your water off before you do anything, first and foremost. Drain your low point drains, get a towel, put it down underneath before you remove your fitting. Remove your fitting off the back, remove the nuts, lift the toilet up, walk it out, make sure you have something to put underneath it so it doesn't leak all over your floor. And then from there, you, you start installing the new one. Now you put your gasket on the bottom, you make sure that you're putting it on the right way and you'll see how it goes. It's pretty self-explanatory, especially when you take off the other one. If you're taking off an exact same model, it's a pretty easy process. You know, you'll know exactly what you're looking at once you take the old one off. And you want to torque them down uh, kind of like a back and forth motion. I like to snug it up by hand on each side, and then I'll take a wrench, tighten up one side, then I'll tighten up the other, and I'll just keep going back and forth until it's tight. You don't want to over-tighten it but you should not have your toilet wobbling back and forth, front or back. It should be snug. Now, if you apply enough pressure, it's gonna move and you can actually do damage to the floor flange of your toilet. A floor flange repair is gonna be a lot more than just replacing a toilet because it depends how they're installed. Some of them are threaded on, need a big spanner wrench. You're gonna be hiring an RV technician to do it at that point. But Thetford makes a pretty good toilet. Aquamagic is very popular. Um, they, uh, they last a long time. And, you know, they just have your common basic wear and tear problems like any other uh, toilet would have in an RV. So I hope this video helps you better understand how an RV toilet maybe is installed. Or maybe you're just trying to find out, do I need the one that has the plumbing in the center? And if you're looking for a Thetford toilet with the plumbing in the center up high, the Style 2 Aqua Magic is the toilet you're looking for, part number 42062. Thank you for watching, you guys. Be sure to like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Down in the description, I'll post a link where you can get these toilets. If you want to support the channel, that's one way you can. Another way is just share us with your friends. We're trying to provide as much great content as we can. And the more people we have watching, the easier it is for us to continue to make more videos. So until next time, safe travels out there. And see you in the next video.